The song to which I think you're referring is uh, That's Fife, which mm. was uh, something of my, well, it was my internet sensation, I like to call it. Uh, 2011, <laughs> I was doing the Radio Fourth Awards, and given everything that I've talked about, how I love to perform and love, you know, this was a chance for me to get in front of an audience, but not just host the event, but also like to do little sketches or little funny songs or little skits or just do something slightly different rather than a bit of business between each act or something. So I always used to come up with something and I would never tell anybody what I was doing except those that had to know. And uh, so this year I had this idea about doing a song, doing a parody. And I wanted, you know, because because fourth one broadcast across Edinburgh, the Lothians and Fife, I thought it's quite a clunky long phrase, but how could we get Edinburgh, the Lothians and Fife into a song? And uh, I, was, I was sat literally at this spot where I am now till half past two in the morning, one morning, trying to get a song to work. I think the only one I had close to it was You're Never Fully Dressed Without a Smile from Annie. Right, you know, so you're never fully dressed without a smile. And all I had was Edinburgh, the Lothians, and Fife. That's all I had. Right? <laughs> and I couldn't get, I couldn't get anything else to work, and nothing was funny. It was the only thing, and it was the only bit that worked was the was the line. So I'm driving to work the next day, and my mate Mino, who who's a lifelong pal of mine, telling him the problem I had, and he goes, "It's easy. It's just just get Frank Sinatra's That's Life, and turn it into That's Fife." I went, "That's genius." So I kind of came back here to this seat, big screen in front of me. One side, I've got the words to That's Life by Frank Sinatra. On the other side, I've got a Google map of Fife. <laughs> and I'm just <laughs> rewriting the words as I'm going, um, you know, if I want to... It, anyway, I'm just got all these place names, A92, Methyl, you know, uh, Anstruther Fish and Chip Bar, and I'm making it all fit, just little getting these nuggets for Fife. And... Um, and did it on the day and thought, this will be a laugh. Let me tell you, that moment has lived with me and will live with me forever because that's the one time I felt like a pop star because this <laughs> the, the Usher Hall went, went mental. And it was and it was like you can actually hear it on the YouTube clip that, 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 that did the... The audience went crazy about it. And I was like, oh, God, this is, this is nuts. And then anyway, uh, the late, great Brian Page, who was our boss at the time, phoned me the next morning and says, we've got to get that on YouTube. He says, I've got the, the, the slides that you put up. He says, we've got the audio. I'm going to put up on YouTube. Put it up on YouTube. And the rest, as they say, it's just, it went on, you know, it went completely. I mean, I'm, you know, I don't keep an eye on these things, but I think it's like 228,542 hits. Something, <laughs> something, <laughs> something like that. But that was it. And then, and then, you know, cut to, I mean, it was, it was played in, I was booked to perform it at corporates and performed it at weddings, uh, birthdays. Literally and, just come and do that song. Yeah. Yeah. Wedding, you know, a surprise for the, the bride, you know, uh, it was with a big idiot comes out with a microphone and starts singing that song. <laughs> but then also it was at a funeral. This guy phoned me up and says, my, my mother's passed away. Uh, could you, could I get a copy of the song? Because uh, she, I think we should play at a funeral because she was a fifer and she always said you're here, sir. And uh, <laughs> she, she loved the song, so that was the song that was played out when everybody left after the uh, after the funeral. Oh, and wow. then when the pandemic struck, um, Alan Stewart had got a bit of a viral thing going on with uh, Major Tom, the old guy that was doing the the laps around his garden for the NHS. So he he did a space oddity parody of David Bowie all about Major Tom, and uh, and then I thought, well, maybe I could, because we well, had time on our hands, didn't we? I'd built a wee studio yep. through there. I thought, maybe now's the time to revisit That's Fife and maybe give it, how can I, what can I do with it, you know, and save lives, save lives, That's Fife, can I make that work? Changed the beginning, got Pix, who's our brilliant musical director for the Panto, and uh, he created that lovely piano introduction, which was kind of like uh, one for my baby, and then he mixed in the backing track to that's life, and then put a video to photographs of an empty streets of Edinburgh, and that did go utterly mental because there's one there was one guy's page on Facebook alone who got over a million views, a million that's on one Facebook page, uh, and there was loads of examples like that, loads of people that shared the video, and so it wasn't just about how many hits on YouTube, it was just like what well, Facebook and Twitter and all that. So anyway, so that just went absolutely crazy, which was brilliant. And to top it all off, 
I got an email one Sunday morning, just sort of bleary robe in my eyes, and it was sent on from my agent. And she says, you better have a look at this. And it was from um, uh, Dean Kane, I think his name is. <laughs> He's just, he says, I wrote That's Life for Frank Sinatra. <laughs> I was like, this is a stop, a cease and desist warrant. He's going to take me to jail. He's going to sue me, you know. And, and it turns out this is the guy from Burbank, California in Hollywood, sent me an email um, basically saying that he loved that Fife, uh, but then more so he loved Save Lives because we changed the intro. And then he asked me, where could you get, where could I, could I borrow your, your, your instrumental? When I perform my song with my lyrics, I may wish to use it. I'm like, this is incredible. So that was the kind of bow at the end of it all. But it was one of these quirky things. I mean, I've, you know, I never made a boat from it, never made a penny from it, but it's kind of enhanced my career. And, and you know, it's given me this lovely, you know, little side adventure about, you know, just this, this one silly song, which, uh, and, and, and the, the one thing that, that will always stand out for me, the year it went out, somebody sent me a text to the studio Radio 4th, and it was at Christmas time. And uh, the text says, Stotty, you do realise that this song's going to be sung at Hogmanay every year from now on. <laughs> and I went, you know what? My life is done now. I don't. I could never do anything to top that. That my my words will be sung across Fife every new year in some way, shape, or form. And uh, yeah, yes, it's, it's it's so. I mean, there's so many silly, quirky things. I mean, I went. I did a wee. I did a wee. Popped in to see this kids' end of school party at the Hibs Club at Easter Road, and there was a DJ there. And he was playing tunes for the kids. And he went, "Oh, Stoy, Stoy, come here." He says, "I'm glad you're here." I'm like, "Yeah." And he goes, I've got something to show you. And so he goes behind his decks, he opens up his laptop and he presses play. And there is a karaoke file of that's Fife with images <laughs> of my in, photographs of me, photographs of that's Fife and the words underneath it. You know, you got a karaoke, right? And all the words <laughs> pop up. And I'm looking at that going, where'd you get that? And he goes, got it in Benidorm. Like, you got it in Benidorm? <laughs> <laughs> Benidorm and he goes yeah I was walking down the street and he says and I heard somebody singing that's Fife right as opposed to that's life and uh, I popped my head in and there's this, this packed karaoke bar and someone's singing that's Fife so I went and had a word with a DJ and he says I says can I get that file so he says it cost me five euros and he says all the other DJs you know the other karaoke DJs in Fife are raging because I'm the only one that's got it because a couple of them said to me can I buy that's Fife off you and I've said to them, no, you can't, because that's my act. And I went, it's no your f***ing act, it's my act. 